Hi, I'm Shiv Ivani, welcoming you to Raise the Line with Osmosis from Elsevier, an ongoing exploration about how to improve health and healthcare. Today, we're honored to do that with one of the nation's top healthcare leaders, Dr. Joshua Gordon, who's the director of the National Institute of Mental Health. In that role, he oversees an extensive portfolio of basic and clinical research that seeks to transform the understanding and treatment of mental illnesses, paving the way for prevention, recovery, and cure. Dr. Gordon, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you for having me. So uh, as you know, many of our audience members are pursuing careers in medicine and psychiatry, mental health. Would love to hear in your own words more about your background. What got you interested in medicine and then a career in psychiatry? First and foremost, I got interested in biological science, molecular biology, all the cool stuff that was happening in the late 70s, early 80s in that area. That convinced me to major in biology as an undergraduate. I did research with an MD there who had a a unique lab that, on the one hand, looked at the molecular biology of neuroblastoma, childhood cancer, and on the other hand, provided almost a service as an academic lab to clinicians who were caring for kids with this tumor because he could, with the molecular information he could get in these early days before sequencing tumors was normal, he could make predictions about the the course of illness. This is Dr. Garrett Brodeur at Washington University, where I was an undergraduate. That convinced me that looking at both biology and pathology could satisfy my scientific curiosity and also lead to a better world for people. Um, novel therapies. In medical school, I got really interested in neuroscience and also simultaneously really interested in mental illnesses, which uh, I think to a certain extent still remain the biggest mysteries in in medicine. And that's why I chose to, to go into psychiatry. I also found the practice of psychiatry incredibly compelling because you had the opportunity to really deeply get to know your patients and also you had the ability with the powerful treatments that we have to help them dramatically. So it was natural for me to continue doing both and research was always at the fore though. What advice generally would you give to our audience about meeting the challenges of this moment, uh, given that so many of them are current or future healthcare professionals? Well, I would say to the current and future healthcare professionals listening in, take care of yourself and take care of your patients. And that means both their mental health as well as other forms of health. If you like this podcast, please share it on your social channels. You can also subscribe to the series and check out all of our episodes at osmosis.org slash raise the line podcast.